Come on. Musky. Yep. Not a giant, but a nice one. All right, we are, we have got a nibble. A little let her fight out a little more because it's not a giant. Yep. Let her just kind of settle. Okay, we'll I'll think about taking her on the next time around. Man, nope, not that one. <laughs> She's fighting hard. Man. Dude, I'm telling you, these yeah. fish have been nuts. Okay. Ready. Well, or not. And we'll take her. Thank you, sir. Look how fat that thing wow. is, dude. Wow. They are just blimps right now. Okay, on the board. Now it's gonna get easy, yeah. right? Cool. All right, thank you. Okay, we're out on the local waters again. With me this morning is Jay and Kyle. Just flew up from uh, the Fox Chain area this morning. And uh, what's your first impression of muskies on the chain here? That was crazy. <laughs> oh my Insane. God. We have had some terrific action this morning. This is the first fish we've capitalized on. Um, we had a, you had a 45 to 47 go around uh, in the figure eights. Yeah. And then uh, Jay, you had two hit yep. way out on the cast, but unfortunately didn't get hooks. But we are on the board now. Let's take a look at this fish. Yeah. Okay. We are on the board with a nice mad town muskie. Not a super whale, but there's some bigger fish. The last two days, there's been two fish over 50 caught out here, which does not happen very often. Nice fat fish. They are on the true big time. Get this girl back. Be good to go. I'm sure she'll be ready pretty much right away here. She's already righted, and she's probably just gonna swim off right about now. There we go. Man, these fish are charged up. It's just a matter of time. We're gonna get a big one today. Let's keep rolling, boys. Okay, I'll show you what we got that fish on. That was on the old janky single number 10 Esox Assault Bucktail. It actually technically was a double 10 at one point in its life, but one blade flew off and we kept using it. Robbie got a 53 and a half on this thing. Uh, this, they just like this thing. I'm throwing this on the nine foot shock and awe. I really like that rod for burning blades, either that or the nine six. Got that on a Tranks high speed. I can just cook that thing with very little effort. These fish are way up in the weeds. We're sitting only in like seven, eight feet of water, throwing up to about five, six. All, the, all four fish we've had action from this morning have come right out of the weeds. So tells you the water temp for third week of July is about as good as it could get we're at about 73 to 75 depending where you are on the lake and that makes some for some good musky conditions yeah you wouldn't think high skies and you know bluebird high pressure north winds this would be good musky conditions but the big game changer the big difference is that the water temp was too warm here about 10 days ago and now with the big cold front and a lot of rain we're back down into the muskies happy zone. Little 9 a.m. update for you. Uh, we've not seen a fish for about an hour, which is pretty normal under these conditions. But I do like the big sun like this, potentially to get a big fish to bite just not typically a lot of action when you have days like this but some of the biggest fish we catch every year are on weather systems like this so and i don't really want to go find fish we found fish i think we'll just go do that drift again does that work for you guys works for us i'm ready for a little me. snack too yeah, yeah. oh no, it, uh, it was a, it was a smaller rappel too uh, oh i'm on i'm on it's a small musky i think it is a what look at this weird pike Whoa. well he's bee cooked look at this guy oh, wow. I, I probably won't even bag him no nah. i just we'll get a look at him on the front Whoa. camera it's a nice pike though he's still healthy he's just got yeah. something going on a little bit there we go that's it's a nice he's pike though too. that's a good look i mean other than that he's that's weird he's fine that's i don't know what that is nice fish though 
It looks like it's about. Thanks, buddy. He's still healthy, though. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll take it. Fine. We'll take it. Little activity. That was on the Loon Boiler Maker. This is the one I got the 52 with Chris up on Green Bay last year. There's still a tooth stuck in it right here. That was like, what, fourth cast with the boiler? Single 10 seems to be the thing right now. So one thing on these boiler makers you may may not have noticed is that uh, for daytime fishing, if I just want to give it a little get a little deeper, I actually just put a uh, small that's like a three eighths or half ounce dipsy weight right on the front split ring there, and that'll get you an extra you know foot or two of depth. So midday bright sun like this, they're not as willing to come up. That's a great modification for your boiler to keep it just a little deeper for those daytime skis. Any inflow is always going to be good. Come on. Oh my gosh, that felt like a fish. <laughs> Holy crap, oh, it moved sideways yeah. and everything. Oh my gosh, heart attack there. <laughs> Jeepers. Wow. That's a trophy. Look at that baby. <laughs> Boy, that thing psyched me out, that's for sure. Okay, we are coming at you with the noon update. Uh, humans one, muskies four, maybe five, actually. We've had action from five fish for sure, and then we actually got, uh, got a Medusa, that one right there. Got that one shredded um, probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago or so, maybe an hour. Um, we're gonna take a little break. It's warm, it's sunny. We can't, whoa. I had a bite. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going on here. Let's take a look at that bait. Here's the teeth marks from earlier. Definitely had a lick the there. See? Right here. Holy mackerel. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah. More, more teeth marks, yep. This thing has been hit twice today. Of course, yeah, now I said we're going in. It's like, of course we get a bite. Why, why would it be any different? Jeepers, creepers. Rowley and Helens is gonna kick my butt if I don't get those baits up there. <laughs> well, I'll make a few more. I'll turn back around and we'll make a couple more casts and see where we're at. Needless to say, we did not get a muskie. They are swerving us. They are shredding us. They are not inhaling baits. Very typical on rubber baits, high skies like this. They just kind of mess with you. You put that thing in front of their face and they just, they get a little ornery. So at any rate, we're gonna get a little snack. I'm gonna go make some baits, have a little siesta. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get back at them this evening. All right, we are back for the attack, heading out for the evening run. Time is 7 p.m. Probably won't bite till about nine, maybe 9.15 right in there, but you never know. Today was a little different had action at some definitely some different times so we got musky league out here tonight so there's 15 other boats chasing musky along with probably a few others that's all right we know where they live and we got the right bait Okay, we're in the bottom of the ninth. The time is quarter to nine. Um, yeah, we got nothing. We haven't had a follow yet. Uh, we did talk to uh, our buddy Tan Okre, who stuck a hook in his hand from a 41 and three quarter on the way out of the last spot. Heading to the ER, not good. We'll, uh, we don't have any light. Thanks, Robbie, for leaving me the lights. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having fun up north. Uh, if we get a fish, it'll be with a cell phone light and it will be rough. So here we go. 